virtual gaming world. So you're there. Great. Welcome. Hello. So what we do is, uh, is very simple but very powerful. We combine social gaming with gambling. So in uh, the United States, that's virtual currency only gambling. But outside the United States, that's licensed real money casino play. So if Farmville is about building your own farm and sharing that with your friends, then what if there was a game like Casinoville where you could build your own casino, populate it with games, and monetize and earn real money from all the, all the gaming traffic that came through your casino, whether it was virtual currency or real currency? Well, that game exists. We've built it. And exactly what, that's exactly what I'm going to show to you today. So this is Sarah. Sarah's uh, from the States, but she now lives in London. And uh, all her friends are all across the globe. So, uh, to hang out and chat, she's created a, uh, a virtual environment, a virtual room, and she's populated, with, populated it with furniture and items from the store. But what her and her friends would really love to do is actually play games together. So she buys a couple of different types of slot machines and a scratch card machine, games that they can play while they're all hanging out and chatting and catching up. So now she's about to place them in her own little uh, living room, her own virtual living room, and she's about to turn it into a real-life casino. She's going to activate the games by clicking on them in just a second. And she's going to play them. And her and her friends can enjoy these games while chatting and catching up. So ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at aren't just virtual games. They're not just toys. These are licensed, cash-out enabled, audited, real money casino games available for players outside the United States. Virtual currency only, obviously, for players inside the United States. Now, uh, now she's playing some slot machines. She was just playing uh, some scratch cards earlier. But the game that Sarah and her friends really love to play is bingo. They used to love to hit the, the bingo halls together. So that's the game that Sarah would really love to be able to put into her room. So as you can see there, that uh, she's got her sights set on that uh, bingo machine there. But she's got to be level five to buy it. She's only level three. So Sarah's got some leveling up to do. So she goes into our world, Chumble World, the world's first virtual casino world that's filled with hundreds or thousands of people from all across the globe chatting, meeting each other, socializing, and playing games. Dozens of games, in fact. Games like uh, horse racing. You know, Sarah and her friends used to love, the, love to get dressed up and hit the horse races together. So now she's having a virtual punt, but with real money, as she's in the UK, on virtual horse racing. Now, uh, perhaps Sarah's met someone at the races. A nice guy, they get chatting, and uh, they uh, agree to go on a lovely romantic date on top of Mount Chumba with a beautiful view overlooking the city, and uh, they're about to share a little romantic kiss. Oh. But uh, Sarah's a busy woman. She's got some gaming to do if she's going to get that bingo machine. So she heads back into the city. And now she's playing some, uh, some video poker. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this is not a toy. This is a, a real-life, cash-out enabled, licensed and audited video poker machine. So she's about to hit a bonus game and double her money and get enough experience points you know, and, and the chance to win some bonus virtual items. And she's hit level four, so she's almost there. Perhaps Sarah likes skill games like chess, games where even in the States, you can actually play the house to win and lose real money. Perhaps she likes casual games, games inspired by some of the most uh, popular casual games on the planet, like Bejeweled or Puzzle Bubble, like you're seeing here. Again, being games of skill, she can play, and play the house and win or lose real, real currency. So now Sarah's almost level five, so she returns back to her home, to her little mini casino, and starts playing some three real slots. And she wins, and now she's hit level five. And at last, she can now look at purchasing that bingo machine for her and her friends to enjoy you know, in the privacy of their own, their own little virtual room environment. So she goes to the store, checks out the game machines available to her, but Sarah needs to be a VIP. She needs to be a subscriber to the platform to actually purchase and build out her own casino even further. So she subscribes, and now she can purchase it and place a couple of machines in her, in her little virtual casino. Now, this is just the beginning for Sarah. Sarah would love to take this even further and expand this beyond her little, group of, uh, her little social group of girlfriends that love to hang out. Sarah, Sarah's dream is to create a massive bingo hall to populate it with even more furnitures and items and spread it to a Twitter followers and embed it on her blog and create different themes and purchase multiple rooms and turn this into a real and thriving growing casino business. Now, remember, Sarah's getting between 10 and 20% of all the turnover generated by her casino. This is not a toy. It's a real casino. So ladies and gentlemen, that's just a taste of uh, some of the potential that is available to us when we combine the world of gaming Great. with gambling.
Um, let's hear it for Virtual Gaming World. And I guess the obvious question, is this real money or fake money? Sorry? Is this real money or fake money? Uh, no, no you, you answered yeah, it seven yeah, yeah, times. <laughs> you answered that seven times. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Um, Sky, um, you're a degenerate gambler like myself. Uh, we've spent many hours uh, playing poker together until all hours of the morning. Um, what do you think of this degeneracy? Well, Brad and I were just talking about our, our greatest dream was to have our own private bingo hall. So <laughs> thank you for making that possible. Uh, I mean, I think we are probably a fairly US-centric panel, so I think you're going to find not a lot of real money online gaming experience here. Um, I mean, is we this... Should get is, <laughs> I mean, I think with what's happening legislatively, that's going to change in the US. But what is the stage? I mean, where, where is this at right now? Is this live? No, it's, uh, well, it's live for beta testers now. And what do you think... Who's your competition for this? Who else is doing something like this? Uh, something I exactly identical to this. There, there, there are, there's practically no one yet, but certainly the guys looking to get in the space, so everyone from Zynga you know, in, the online, in the social gaming space, you know, they've been making noise about the online gambling space for quite some time now. You know, but everyone from the offline guys to the online gambling guys, you know, they're, they're all wading thick and fast into the space. So you, meant, you talked about virtual currency gambling and, and how relatively small that might be, but it's not actually the case. Casino games on Facebook are actually some of the highest monetizing games on the Facebook platform. To give you an example, about eight weeks ago, IGT, the largest slots machine maker on the planet, 5 million, 5 million MAUs and purchased them for half a billion dollars. That's entirely a virtual casino that cannot enable real money play. They're not licensed. It's a US, it's a, they're, they're based out of Seattle. They have no international licenses, games not tested, games not architected to be uh, to, to be applicable for the, for the real money gambling world that exists sure, outside but the United States. Sure, you've probably more experience than anybody in the virtual gaming yes. space <laughs> on the panel. What are the chances, I mean, Zynga's been pretty clear that they're going to go into this space. The stock had a massive run up when they gave every indication, but we can all be sure they're gonna go into this space. Facebook is clearly gonna allow some level of this, correct? What do you think? What so, does your gut tell you, your instinct, Sherman? So my, I mean, I, I, the last company I saw was SGN, Social Gaming Network, and we got to about 50 million users on the iPhone. And my last game that I did before I sold, it was called Mini Tycoon yes, Casino. Yes, I played right? it. So Loved it, yeah. You're yeah. a fan? Good. Yep. <laughs> um, it, it was, uh, I, there was a lot of love in that game, and we worked really hard on it. Um, and the, the concept was to kind of, set it up so that in, if in the future um, that it becomes legal, mm -hmm. that, that you could turn that on. So Zynga is definitely, you know, waiting for that to happen in the U.S. But at the same time, there's this massive opportunity in the rest of the world massive. to do this. And um, I've been looking for someone to build this platform. And if you're saying it's already ready, I mean, it, you've built it specifically mm -hmm. for this. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a really tremendous and big idea uh, for the rest of the world yeah. and you know what you'd have to do obviously you'd have to set up your company I'm sure you have done this Already done. outside of the mm -hmm. US and then build it launch it have it be successful and when it actually is legal in the US then you would you would uh, launch here but uh, at the same time it's just a it's a massive opportunity and sure and, let me ask you this I yeah. mean you've joined Menlo correct yeah and so you've done tons of angel investing on your own. Now you're at a big VC firm. Will, would Menlo or a VC firm be able to invest in this, or do they have you know, sort of conditions with their limited partners that they cannot invest in this? Yeah, most, I mean, I, most U.S. venture firms are not going to invest in this. Would um, you personally invest in this? So I, um, I mean, I'm, I'm investing through Menlo, so no. I'm not, you know, but, but you can invest personally I, if yeah, Menlo if we, passes. If, yeah, and so I'd have to check with my lawyers. If, <laughs> um, <laughs> but would you? In, 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 would you be interested? It's a massive idea, and I, I think it's, uh, the potential is there, so I would, I would definitely consider it, yeah. What about you, Sky and Matt? I mean, there's been a little bit of a, a sort of perception here in the United States that gambling is something horrible, even though we have lotteries and all kinds of stuff going on there, and the tax revenue is certainly needed. Would you, as angel investors, and I know, Matt, you're primarily an angel investor in Sky, you do it rarely, would you consider getting involved in this kind of space, or do you have a morality kind of issue with it? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't made that decision bef before and in, invested in something. I mean, it's definitely a, uh, so I, I guess my answer is I'm, I don't know. You know um, I haven't really thought about it. 
I mean, uh, for me personally, probably not. Um, and uh, that's not to say it's not a multi-billion dollar idea. I think it probably is. I would um, urge you to, to do something from the beginning in terms of donating a, a percentage of any yeah, profits absolutely. to causes and yeah. education, Definitely. all of that. Um, in, in, in fact, so I, had, such, I, I just had, I had two product questions, though. Is, sure. is that, um, does the, the, does the um, person who has the casino, are they taking a rake? I didn't quite get, is that right? Yeah, Yeah. it depends on the type of game. So if they've got well, poker that's tables, what I mean, yeah. But, poker but, tables is rake, and in, obviously you know, with, the other, with the other games like scratch cards and slot machines, you know, the, the, there's right. a house edge, you know, the, the, you know, the, the household, the typical percentage that got the house it. takes. So okay. they'll get a percentage of that between right. 10 and 20. And what's your background? Uh, in game development for about seven years, so globally distributed game development, so across the Philippines. Um, that's where a bulk of our team is. All our real money engineers are in India. So we're a very uh, uh, yeah, globalized team. Yeah. Hmm. What do you and guys does think? It, does it, yeah, is it run as a standalone downloadable app, or is it run in a browser, or does it run on a Facebook page? Like, how does it? What's yeah, the... uh, not, not currently a standalone downloadable uh, on its own web page with Facebook Connect enabled, uh, and we'll be porting it to mobile next. Okay. Is the IP around the actual licenses and the games, mm -hmm. is all of that yours, or do you yes. have partnerships with people who have built some all of All proprietary. All proprietary. Mm -hmm. And how do, you, how do you establish trust? Uh, you talk about these slot machines, for example, being audited and mm -hmm. everything like that. There's an established feel of a casino when you go into the slot machine is somehow legitimate or something. How do you do that with a third party or... Brand oh, um, yeah, well, as a precondition to a to a pretty much any reputable uh, gambling regulatory body, you know, they require your games to go through certification, which is basically an independent order that reviews editing everything about the game, from the source code to the graphics and the random number generator. They look at four billion results and run it through fifty statistical tests to make sure that, that you know they rubber stamp it and make sure that you're a compliant. You know, it's a real money gambling game. And Where then, is it licensed? What country? Uh, we're starting in Asia. So the first, the first ones is the first one is out of the Philippines. That's Asia's first uh, online gambling jurisdiction. But most of the big ones are in Europe, actually. So that's our next step. Great. Congratulations. Yeah. Let's awesome. hear it yeah. for virtual gaming. Yeah. Awesome.